Sixers plug in a new battery as we head to the seventh. Through six, a run, four hits, two errors for the Ports, five runs, eight hits, no errors for the Sixers. And Dylan Phillips is the new pitcher, and he gets a new catcher. And Aldo Flores comes into the game as well as the first pitch is in there for a strike to Jose Escorche. So, Dylan Phillips, the southpaw relieving the righty, Marcheco, as the next pitch is popped out of play on the right side. Phillips this season, 2-1 and one with a 2.39 ERA and 15 outings, two saves, 26 in the third innings, 21 hits. He has struck out 39 batters and walked nine. And he's ahead in the count 0-2 here as the offering. Breaking balls, weakly hit to the left side. Sepulveda, the third baseman, charging, has it, throws on the run and gets his man. Nice play on the slow roller. And retired is a score chase, 0 for 3. So Ronaldo Flores, the new catcher. Here is B.J. Cook, and he takes a strike. Cook has struck out and flown out. Here's the pitch on the way, and that is a breaking ball. Check swing, and he went too far, so the count 0-2. Oh so Flores now catching. You can put him in the five spot in the order for Tinsman. And here's a little weak roller up at the first base line. Phillips has it, whips the throw to first. Kootenay digs it out, and Cook is retired. So Dylan Phillips with a terrific play. He's a left-hander, so he falls off the mound to the third base side, but he sprinted after that follow-through and uh, then had to pick that up, spin, and make a throw that avoided the runner. And Kootenay was able to dig it out. Great play. Two down. Here in the top of the seventh, Sixers leading 5-1, and Cooper Ewell swings through that pitch from Dylan Phillips. Cooper Ewell awaits, and the next pitch. Fastball just misses high. Ewell who singled in his first at bat. He struck out in his next. He's one for two. Here's the offering on the way. Breaking ball, misses low. For Marcheco, his line tonight, another strong performance. Six innings of work. Four hits, one run earned, one walk, and he struck out five batters. Here's the 2-1, and that's in there for a strike. Two balls, two strikes with two outs, and empty bases top of the seventh. The pitch from Phillips. Breaking ball, swung on and missed, and Phillips with an outstanding first inning of work. A couple of weak ground outs, one he made a fine play on, and then the strikeout to cap it. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left. Stretch time here at San Manuel Stadium, 5-1 to one, Inland Empire. Leading Stockton, stay with us. You're listening to 66ers Baseball. One ball and two strikes. Christian Sobuis, who has two Second hit of the night. <laughs> and the win a launch. Not just a birthday to Max. Here's the pitch on the way, a breaking ball. Chopped high hop to third. Schofield Sam has it. The side is... Still plenty of games. Innings have been completed at San Manuel Stadium tonight, and the Sixers out in front eight to one over the Stockton Ports. One run, four hits, two errors for Stockton. Eight runs, eleven hits, no errors for the Sixers. Leading things off against lefty Dylan Phillips is Pedro Pineda, and he swings at the first pitch. Fouls it back out of play. Phillips first inning of work in the seventh had a one two three inning. Got a strikeout. Pineda in this game is hit into a double play and he's walked. As the pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. Good changeup. So the count 0 and 2.
Here's the 0-2 offering. Breaking ball, chopped foul at the plate. Well, time now to take our first look at the big league scoreboard. Not a full slate today. Still plenty of games. Here's the next pitch, and that misses low. Final in uh, Cincinnati, the Dodgers behind Clayton Kershaw shut out the Reds 6 to nothing. The Rays double up the Twins in St. Pete 4 to 2. And uh, Milwaukee hosting the Orioles. Orioles win that one 6 to 3 as the next pitch is in there for called strike 3 breaking ball. And that is out number 1 Pineda down on strikes. And the batter will be Nelson Beltran who is 0 for 2. The parent club of the Ports, that's the A's, they'll open a series in Milwaukee tomorrow. We wish best of luck to our good friend and colleague, Alex Jensen, who's the voice of the Stockton Ports, who's been on this long road trip with the A's. And spent the off day today in Milwaukee. Don't think he, w I don't know if he went to that game, though. No, and Alex, he went to a museum or something like that. But... We miss him here, but glad he's up in the big leagues. One ball, one strike to Nelson Beltran. Pitch on the way. Fastball, swung on and missed. Giants beat the Rockies, sweep them. Uh, six to four the final, and uh, the win in that game went to Scott Alexander. Who's 5-0 and oh with the Giants. As the next pitch swung on and missed, Scott, who's Younger brother, Jason, pitched for the 66ers. Camilo Doval, the former San Jose Giant, got his 16th save. Two down, and uh, top of the order, here is Colby Thomas, who's hitless in three at-bats. White Sox and Yankees did play, despite the uh, smoky skies in the Northeast, and the Sox beat the Yankees 6-5. to five. As the pitch swung on and missed, check swing, he couldn't hold on, and then that was in one game of the doubleheader. The other, the Yankees won that one three to nothing. Lost to former Sixer Mike Clevenger. Next pitch just misses. Phillies and Tigers played a ball game today, and uh, Phillies won that one three to two. Blue Jays beat Houston three to two. Here's a pop fly in a shallow right, and coming on is Peabody. He'll make the catch. And for Phillips, that's six up, six down in his two innings of work. We will uh, continue with the big league scoreboard when we come back. Home half of the eighth upcoming. Sixers leading the ports 8-1. to one. You're listening to 66ers Baseball. Here with Inland Empire. The inning will end. Credit card of minor league baseball. Ahead of it and order yours soon. <laughs> Toyota Redlands, where the 10 and 210s meet at the Tennessee Street exit or toyotaofredlands.com. Brennan Malone will lead off in the ninth for the Stockton Ports as the Sixers trying to finish this ball game off. And Dylan Phillips delivers a fastball that misses low. A run, four hits, two errors through eight for the Ports. Eight runs, a dozen hits, and no errors for the Sixers. As Phillips, his next pitch is called a strike this time to Brennan Malone. Malone hitless in three at bats. Phillips with nobody loosening in the pen looking to pick up a three inning save. As the pitch on the way, breaking ball grounded to short. Denzer Guzman has that, sets his feet, throws in time, and Malone is 0 for 4, out number one here in the ninth. And the batter is Henry Bolt. He's had a nice game at the plate. He has half of the hits for the ports. He has a triple and a single. Both hit hard, both the opposite way to right field. And uh, he'll face Dylan Phillips, who's now retired seven in a row in this outing. All seven he's faced. And the pitch down in the dirt for ball one. Well, Inland Empire looking to win their fifth consecutive ball game. Here's the pitch, and that is swung on and missed. 
And that would match the longest win streak of the season for Inland Empire. And a win tonight will put them over 500, which is pretty stunning. As a bring balls in there for a strike. That's not to say teams haven't come back from uh, slow starts and got over 500, but to start off 4-17 and 17 and to get over 500 on June the 8th is pretty, <laughs> pretty impressive as the next pitch misses low and outside. Two balls, two strikes. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Breaking ball. Did he go? No on appeal. So Bolte has worked the count full. It's a nice looking player for the A's here. Payoff pitch. And a fastball fouled out of play. Bolte really does hit the ball the other way with power. Here's the 3-2 pitch, and a fastball swung on and missed. And Phillips picks up another strikeout. That's his fourth in two and two-thirds innings. And it will bring up T.J. Schofield-Sam, who's one for three, had an RBI single back in the fourth, just a chopper over third. And that is the lone RBI tonight for the Ports. And Phillips, one more out to get. And the pitch, breaking ball, sweeps over the outside corner for a called strike. Owen won the count. Here's the 0-1 offering. And uh, Schofield Sam lifts this to left, racing back as Ruiz on the run. He makes the catch. Ruiz with a fine play, and the ball game is over. It's three perfect innings in relief. For Dylan Phillips and the Sixers win this one 8-1. to one. They have taken the first three games of this six-game set and have won five consecutive ballgames, matching their longest win streak of the season. And Inland Empire is over 500 for the first time this season. Inland Empire started off the year 4-17, and 17, and they exit tonight 26-25. My goodness. 8-1 to one the final. We'll be back with the Sam and Will postgame show. Stay with us. You're listening to 66ers Baseball. Celebrate the history of our national pastime at the National Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum in Cooperstown. See priceless treasures that will bring your baseball memories to life. 